So hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial where I'll go over some tips and tricks uh, that I've come across in working with Audacity, specifically how we process a waveform to improve the audio quality, uh, a little bit of editing and then adding a radio effect which I've used a couple of times in the past and is quite a neat trick. This is the waveform that I've recorded, uh, let's have a listen to it. Mystery. All my life has been a mystery. So that's that's incredibly weird. It's an incredibly weird test piece of audio. Uh, basically, I wanted to use a, a classic bit of Fry and Laurie skit called Mystery, where Hugh Laurie sings in this weird voice. I tried to emulate it. It's not great, but it's still an it's it's still a waveform that we can use. So let's use it. So there's a few weird things going on. It's a bit of an artificial example. Uh, but up the front, I shift the mic around, so it causes these really strong peaks uh, around. The, let's say in this little gap here, you can hear just background noise from a fan which I had on in the room at the time, intentionally so, so we can show the noise removal process. And uh, what else is there to say? Nothing. It's just, a, it's just a really weird piece of... I, I apologize for how weird that piece of audio was. Anyway, let's move on. So, let's start with improving the uh, audio quality. So the first thing we need to do, noise removal, first select a piece of of the waveform that is just a noise. I've already done this. It's this section here, just the fan. So we go to effect, we go to noise reduction, and then we go noise profile. So it's a bit unintuitive, uh, but think of it like this. First of all, we have to show Audacity what the noise looks like. So by getting the noise profile, we tell Audacity, I want you to look for this kind of noise. Now that it's got that profile, we select everything, control A, effect, noise reduction, and we don't select get noise profile again, uh, because then it will select everything now. we It already has the noise profile. We go OK. And you can see, if I just go Control z and Control y that that little uh, bit of noise around the edge has just gone completely. So now if we were to play here... Mystery! It's much reduced compared to what it was before. Mystery! But it's still not completely removed, right? So let's we've still got the profile in memory. Let's go Effect, Noise Reduction again and just go OK. Mystery. And if we were to do it a third time, I generally don't do it more than twice, but it depends on what you want. It's not really affecting the signal too much. The signal's staying at about the same level. Mystery. There we go, three times. You cannot hear the fan anymore. So we've removed the noise. Perfect. Uh, we've made this weird piece of audio sound better. Now, the other piece of pre-processing is, uh, let's try that again. The other piece of pre-processing that we do is what we, uh, is called compressor. Now, my best des description of what a compressor does is it basically normalizes or equalizes all of the peaks of the waveform to be at a similar level. So if you think of it like a, a recorded whisper and a recorded shout will be brought to the same intensity in terms of decibels. But don't be confused by that because equalization and normalize are two very separate things in audacity. So the moral of the story is don't listen to me at all. So we go into compressor and I generally use the normal um, parameters here and we can see when I click OK what it does. What is interesting is that it's the the mic movement which causes a huge spike initially much bigger than the audio is brought down while the audio which is less gets brought up so every everything is kind of brought to the same level so let's listen to it again. Mystery all my life has been a mystery. I'm going to try and play that audio as few times as I possibly can get away with. Uh, but that's what Compressor does, so it's done a good job. Now I would like to just uh, cut up the audio and do a bit of uh, editing of the waveform, which you might need to do. So let's say, for instance... Mystery. I don't like how I said story in the first mystery. So let's replace it with a story from the second time I say mystery, which is here, I think. Been a mystery. Okay, so usually when you have to uh, select a piece of audio, you have to delve really deep into the waveform uh, so to see where you want to, the region you want to select. But I'd say it's about, this is it, right? Mystery. Or maybe do I have to bring it back a bit? Mystery. Okay, that's my that's my second story. Got to replace it with the first, which I don't like. Mystery. So I can just select that, delete. There we go. Mystery. It surprisingly sounds better than I thought it did. Sometimes when you cut and paste different bits of audio together, um, it just doesn't sound 
quite right. If there was music in the background, which I don't have in this example, the music might do a jump. Uh, and so what happens, a, a way to improve that, you don't necessarily need it for this example. If you're uh, cutting up pieces, uh, if you're cutting up waveforms in Audacity, you might need to do this in future. Effect crossfade. It basically, it's a smooth transition from one to the other. One decreases in intensity, the other increases in intensity at the same, and overlap, and, and an overlapping uh, interval. And so now, Mystery. All my life has been a mystery. So now, the way I say story in both instances is exactly the same, but it sounds pretty... Mystery. Serious. And the crossfade really helps with that. Now, uh, another piece of editing that we want to do. We don't actually want the mic movement. Get rid of that. There's a little bit of something, something at, happening at the end. Select that area. Delete. Just gets rid of them. Nothing fancy. And so finally, I've spent all of this time improving the audio quality. Now I want to bring it all back and make the audio quality a bit more rubbish. One way you can do that is by going into effects and equalization. This gives you some options for making an AM radio telephone walkie talkie. You can boost or cut the bass and treble. I mean, and you can get a radio effect uh, using this method, uh, but I tend to prefer another method. So in this method, basically we go to effect and we go to high pass filter. And so usually it gives you a 6 decibel as a default, but I go 12. So what a high pass filter does is it looks at the frequency content of your waveform and basically the high frequencies pass and the low frequencies get cut off. So let's run that and let's have a listen to it. Mystery. All my life has... okay, I'm going to cut myself off there, but you can tell now that it, it sounds different. The high pass filter has given it that sort of like over the cable, over the line kind of quality to it. But not, we're not quite there. Now, we've spent all this time getting rid of the noise. But when you hear something over the radio, there is actually a bit of noise there. So first of all, we actually create a new track. We create a new stereo track. And then in this track, just select this area. We go generate some noise. So it may seem a bit weird to, after we've removed the noise, now we're just adding it back. But we're adding it back to a second track. Okay, so we're not corrupting our signal anymore. The noise is on a separate track, which we can remove if we want to. We've still got our original noise. So now, let's play it. Ah, horrible. Get out of here. So this is too loud, obviously. So amplify. Um, I'd say probably about minus... Maybe minus 40. It's just a rough estimate. Mystery. That's probably still a bit too loud. So let's try a minus... This is like completely up to you to how much you want to... Mystery. Been a mystery. So there you go. So now we've done the high pass filter plus the noise gives it that, to me at least, it makes it sound like mystery. We're listening to it on the radio. So there you go. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, these are the Audacity tools that I've used. Um, so I thought I'd just do a quick tutorial just uh, outlining some of these uh, things that I've learned. If you found it helpful, let me know in the comments below or if you'd like to know something else about Audacity. And yeah, I hope you have a flippin' awesome day.